Hi guys, I hope that you have all been doing well. Today I'm here to do a double fairy loot unboxing. I think these are for the months of December and January and I'm not gonna lie, I have already opened the December box so we'll just get right into it and I will just give you a quick little overview of everything that we got into this box. These two beautiful bookmarks. I love these effects. They are beautiful. I think that these will be in every single box from now on because on the back it says that these are collectibles. Then we have Jack's Dagger letter opener. I don't know who Jack is supposed to be, but look at this stunning letter opener. They have included one like these before in the past, which was inspired by the Throne of Glass sword. And I use that letter opener thing all the time. Next up, we have Nasir's tattoo. And it's not a tattoo. This is a We Hunt the Flame iron patch. And I believe, but don't quote me on this, that the person who actually designed Nasir's tattoo, like this patch, is also the author of the book. Wait, let me check because I do have it. Yeah, okay, so I was right. So the author of this book, We Hunt the Flame, also does like design jobs and she is so, so talented. Then we have a lore keychain, but if I'm not mistaken, I feel like this was a missing item from a previous box. It is just a little feather. I'm like not too impressed with this keychain, but there is a little something on there as well. Bind your fate to mine. And then finally, I love these things. We have another book pouch. It is super sturdy. It has a little zip liner thingy, zipper. So I feel like this will definitely protect your books also from water. So you don't have to be concerned about any damage because of that. And in that box, two books were included. First off, we have The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. She is also the author of, wait, what is that book called again? I do have it. These Witches Don't Burn? Is that it? I will put like a picture up here. But this seems to be an LGBTQ vampire romance. And that's all that I know about it. It's probably like paranormal romance kind of stuff. I will put these synopsis up here so you can pause the video and read what this story is all about. And then Fairy Loot's December pick is A Year of the Reaper by Makia Lucier if I'm pronouncing the author's name correctly. It has beautiful black spray pages. We also have special art on the front cover. And then on the inside of the dust jacket, you have some fan art as well. I love Fairy Loot's special editions. Oh yeah, and then lastly, we have their tarot cards. So these are the ones that were included in the December box. And now let's go on to their January box. <laughs> see a scythe enamel pin. I haven't read the scythe series. I do own the first book. Ooh, I really do like this design. So the quote in it is, love remains mortal. Then, ooh, could this maybe be a bookmark? Yes, okay, we have an Aaron metal bookmark. I don't know who Aaron is. <laughs> yes, okay, so it's not only metal, but I feel like it is enamel as well. This is what the bookmark looks like. It has a little quote on the top and a mermaid. Ooh, my gosh, I don't know what this is from. Then, ooh, this packaging looks very nice. We have a monsters and verity puzzle. I have a feeling if I look at the back as well that this is inspired by V.E. Schwab's, what is that series called again? I feel so ashamed. It's that V.E. Schwab book. And I have read it like a couple of years ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is called This Savage Song. I just could not come up with the title of that book. So I have actually read it. And this is a puzzle with one of the two main characters. I never really make puzzles. I don't know. I never have the patience to make one. It might be a good relaxing activity, but we shall see if I will actually do that. <laughs> we have a James Herondale, Herondale, I'm sorry, trinket dish. And I personally love their trinket dishes so much. I use them to put like my jewelry on there, but I haven't read the Last Hours trilogy by Cassandra Clare. I've only read the first two books in the Mortal Instruments series. For some reason, it just doesn't really intrigue me. I have heard great things about this series though. And the design is so beautiful. It is so shiny. I think our last item, is this gonna be like a tapestry tapestry? I never know how to say that. Oh, it's a tea towel, a hollow vows tea towel, which was a book that was included in one of their boxes a couple of months ago. I don't know if I will be able to showcase the design to you completely. It says, these are the hours of spies and thieves. A quote from Lexi Ryan. 
Did I do it right? I have no clue. I really like practical items and this is definitely one of them. So I am very content. Wow, these tarot cards are so beautiful. I don't know who they are, but I can definitely appreciate the designs. And then we have the last and most exciting part of these unboxings, which is their book that they choose for this month. Oh my gosh, dark purples, free edges. Wow, that is vibrant. This is called only a monster can kill a hero is that it no it's short for only a monster Ooh, i don't know i'm getting like dark academia astrology vibes from this but i might be completely wrong wow okay that is so pretty it is a book by vanessa len don't forget the rule no one can know what we are what you are you must never tell anyone about monsters oh, oh wow this is another beautiful special edition it is signed by the author. It also has customized end papers. I don't know how they do this, but they keep on stepping up with their special editions every single time. <gasps> These are just the end pages, guys. So on the front, we have this as well. It is like a lilac foil embossed front cover. Oh. Wow, it's so shiny. So with the other special editions, they do like special insides of the dust jacket. With this one, they didn't. So I think they just fully customized the book itself. Now let's see what this book is about. In every story, there is a hero and a monster. It should have been the perfect summer. Sent to stay with her late mother's eccentric family in London, 16-year-old Joan is determined to enjoy herself. She loves her nerdy job at the historic Holland house. Holland? I'm from the Netherlands, hi. <laughs> and when her super cute co-worker Nick asks her on a date, it feels like everything is falling into place. Then a good Samartian attempt gone wrong sends Joan spinning through time and her life quickly begins to unravel. Her family aren't just eccentric, they're monsters with terrifying hidden powers. And Nick isn't just a cute boy. He's a legendary monster slayer who will do anything to bring them down. Ooh, is this gonna be enemies to lovers? Okay, as she battles Nick, Joan is forced to work with the beautiful and ruthless Erin Oliver, heir to a monster family that hates her own. She'll have to embrace her own monstrousness if she is to save herself and her family, because in this story, she is not the hero. I'm very intrigued by this whole monster hero situation. I could definitely see some parallels between this Savage song as well. Very intrigued, haven't heard anyone talk about this one, so I'm curious to see what my opinion will be once I pick it up. That was my quick fairy loot unboxing. Definitely let me know in the comments down below which one of the two boxes you preferred. I think it's very difficult because I actually like receiving more books more than receiving like specialized items because we all love books, but sometimes items can just be like hit or miss with me. Thank you so much again to fairy loot for sending over these boxes to me for free in exchange for an honest review. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or in the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.